uh, next on the series of, of our debate. Today's topic is whether or not students should have the right to defend themselves in school. You know that uh, uh, when people get into a fight in school, that uh, both people, the person that was attacked and the person that was uh, defending themselves, generally get suspended. So the topic today is whether or not students should have a right to defend themselves in school. Uh, Mrs. Rennie's team is against that possibility. Uh, they believe that they should not be fighting in school. Is that correct? Okay, that the rule should be the way it is. And Mr. Krause's team is against that rule and feels that they should be able to defend themselves. Uh, we're going to flip for who goes first, so if you guys would call it in the air. Heads, and it is tails. So, what do I get the quarter from? So you guys have a choice. Do you want to open or you want them to open? You're going to open? Okay, so they will open first and speak up clearly so uh, the camera can pick everything up that you have to say. I believe that students should be able to defend themselves in school without being suspended because if they don't defend themselves because they're worried about something going on in their record, then they're just going to be easily beat up. Many people will probably will pass around the word, and then a lot of people will beat them up. Um, nobody has the right to lay their hands on you in school. And, and if you are in the street and you got into a fight, you want to be I feel they have no right to suspend you if you didn't start the fight because if you keep getting suspended for stupid things like that, it'll be on your record to the years to come for just being in a fight defending yourself. Okay. This is ready again. Okay, so there are opening statements at this point. Since uh, this group opened first, you get the question first. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, David, we'll start with All right, was it All right. Um, what if the fight had already started? Like, um, the kid maybe doesn't, the word doesn't spread around fast enough for it to get to you. You don't know what's going to happen. <clears throat> the kid's just going to get you after school, going to come on and sneak up. Well, if you think that's going to happen, you should just tell an adult or a parent anyway. But how would you know? Maybe you did something to the kid, and it's like, you don't think that anything's wrong, but he's still pretty mad about it, and he wants to come after you and get you back. Well, then just after school, if he wants to fight you, then you should just go tell. Yeah, but it's like... Why you want to go tell? But it's like, uh, um... If the kid already started fighting you, like pounding you, while your face is getting slammed into the ground, you're not going to really think of running off and telling the teacher. You're going to want to defend yourself and try to get this kid off of you. You did already starting, but... Like you said, go tell somebody. How you going to go tell somebody? Why you going to get in the face Do we have another person who wants to go ahead and tell them? I don't know who said that. Um, what if somebody came up and hit you and you just gonna stand there and let them hit you? Just because you don't want to get suspended? Does anybody want to answer that? and tell somebody they get them suspended, 
They don't care. They're still going to come after you anyway. <laughs> You're comfortable not questioning them? Okay, at this point we will open it up to the audience and let the audience question to Mr. Deese. Yes, we do. We do? Yes, we do. Anybody in this group that's sitting here right now part of the peer mediation team, raise your hand. Yeah, there you go. The guy sitting right next to you is a part of the peer mediation team. Then you know that, because you do have a peer mediation team. <laughs> but, but, but Mr. Carter they said that there wasn't no video. I said, don't you have video? He was like, mm, you're supposed to. So, I well, I know that Lisa Benini, who is a uh, person at Mr. Prager's home base, is on peer mediation, and she's been pulled out of class to come down and mediate. So that, that program does exist. Is there any questions that you have of the teams? Okay, this is the chance for the audience to question the teams. Anybody at all? Nope. Nobody. All right. Uh, we're not going to have enough time to summarize and vote this period. We only have about three minutes left. So why don't you do this, okay? Why don't you think of some questions tonight uh, so that you can pose to the groups. And tomorrow we'll uh, pick up with the questions that you have. If you don't have any questions, we'll have them summarized, and then we can vote. Do you have a question? Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Right. Who are you directing this to? Um, this is Okay. Uh, as, like, like, I think, like, Bible or something says, like, um, if you, everybody, like, brothers spiritually, so if you're, like, getting ready to fight, like, let's say someone's, like, wants, like, your clothes and they want to beat you up for it, right? And, Someone says, like, if they take your shoes, they'll give them your socks, too. <laughs> they take your shirt. <laughs> 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 Should we arrest you for that? That's a whole different story. Do you want to yeah, respond to what he Basically, it's a whole different story. It's nothing to do with what we got to do. We ain't going to take our shirt off just to give it to them so they can go have fight us. But there's also, there, there's also the story of um, somebody hits you on one side of their face, turn around and let them hit you on the other side of the face. Yeah, yeah. 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 Would you do that? Would you do that? <laughs> so, I mean, is there, is there like anybody in this room that would let somebody hit them on one side of the head as hard as they could and then hit them on the other side of the head? No, but truthfully, by show of hands, anybody that would let somebody beat you up. <coughs> Actually, no. Rusty. Rusty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any other? Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Need to roll your attention? Yeah. Yeah. you're doing fine, right? Okay, so we are now in the second day of the debate. The topic, of course, is whether or not uh, you should have the right to defend yourself in school. Uh, we were up to a point where I had asked you to go home and think about some questions you might want to ask the teams. This team is in favor over here of being able to defend yourself in school, and this team is in favor of the rules as they stand. Uh, and so, once again, I open it up to questions from the audience if you would like to question or comment on anything up to this point. Just raise your hand. <laughs> Nobody? Nobody has any questions? I have a question. Yes. Mr. To, uh team to my left here. Okay, speak up. The, um, the rule, okay, if you are in a, a fight, whether you're defending yourself or not, you're suspended, okay, if you, whether you're um, self-defense or not. The threat of being suspended, don't you think it keeps some kids from fighting? That there are some kids that the threat of suspension will get them, will make them get out of the situation instead of fighting. That can't, like, how are you going to, how are you going to, like, uh, right, go ahead. Uh, the threat of suspension, um, students, so, students don't care about it. I mean, they'll get suspended and they just come right back. I mean, um, if the threat of suspension was all that intimidating with students, there would not be any fights in the school. And you should not be suspended if you're just defending yourself because 
you did not start the fight. The kid came up to you and, and actually started attacking you. Defending yourself is just something natural to all living things. And I don't believe you should, you should have a penalty for doing something that's natural and keeping yourself from getting hurt. When um, someone starts a fight, if, it's, if there was a period prior to the actual fight, before the actual hitting takes place, there is that window for an opportunity for a person to get away. If um, he had the opportunity to get away, then he knew he wouldn't get suspended. Don't you think he would take that? Because not all fights just start being jumped. I'm not, talking, I'm not just meaning about a kid that's getting jumped. I mean, a lot of times there's a couple of little arguing going around, this and that, a little pushing beforehand. I mean, the person that's being attacked verbally and a little pushing has time to get away if he does want to keep from getting suspended. You want to respond to that? Yeah, I'll respond to that. All right. You might not know about the fight until the kid is waiting there for you. And if you start walking away, the kid might just be mad enough and angry enough well, that's the same thing, that he'll just come right after you no matter what. I mean, um, some kids don't care if they throw the first punch or if you throw the first punch. If you start walking away, they'll come after you and it's like they won't even wait for you to throw. They'll just go right after you. Anthony. Mr. Beast, did you have a question you want to ask? You said if there's only push and shove him, that if you have time to run away, where are you going to run to? Wait, out of the situation. You're going to run out of the situation? You get out of the situation from where you are. And then they'll still be waiting for you. Most kids in this school want to get suspended. They don't want to be here. Mm -hmm. They don't want to get suspended. Don't beat up somebody that just looks out of place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you really believe that? You know? Yeah. Most kids. We have about 700 kids in this school. You think that 351 kids in this school have that philosophy? 351 kids. No. Well, well you said most them. kids. That's the majority of the kids is 351. Most How many of the kids in this class, in this group here, have the philosophy that Mr. Deese is saying? Raise your hands. Tell them what you think. Tell them what you think. Most, yeah, you guys want to get suspended because we're not being here. Okay, how many in this class would rather be suspended than be in the school? Raise your hands. Mr. Beast, you are not <laughs> going to go. 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 hands up. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You guys would rather be suspended, not getting any education than being in school. Let me take your names down, we'll get you all taken care of now. Keep your hands up. I'm going to give you what you want, Beast. What's your last name? No, 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 Martina. No. Martina. Wayne, I Let it try. Hard, yes. hard. Sandra, over there. Sandra, you might as well just rip up that, uh, that nurse appointment for you today. You don't need to be playing on a team if you're going to be home. All right? Just keep that in mind. Who else? Okay, so most of you don't have that philosophy. Most people have a fight for no reason. All right, then let me, let me rephrase what he said. How many of you would pick a fight for no reason just to get suspended? Raise your hand. How many of you would pick a fight for no reason just to get suspended? Oh, right there, that girl up the glass, she went. Well, do you think most people have that philosophy? Look around. What people are the most smart people in this school? That's nothing to do with picking a fight. That's nothing to do with picking a fight. You think most of the people in the school are dumb? Yeah. Is there any other questions from the audience to either of the two teams? Yes. Yesterday he said he said that um you wouldn't let someone punch you twice, and the debate's not about whether you punch you, it's about whether you. Both the debate is about whether you should have the right to defend yourself. That's what the debate yeah. is about. Yeah, and it's because if somebody hits you, you're going to hit them back. You're not going to let them hit you twice or more. You're just going to start hitting them back. Right? Yeah, but that's not, nobody was talking about that. That's yeah, because they they know know the they 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 hit you. One at a time, one at a time. One at a time. Um, that is the subject because. We're talking about if you defend yourself, you're going to get suspended. Like, That's somebody, what I just said. I know, but say somebody hits you. You want to hit them back, right? That deals with the subject because then you get suspended for hitting them back. Yeah, but he said you're not going to hit them back. So, you're not going to hit them back? I never said nothing like that.